Here are some bassoon reed basics. These are the specific parts of the bassoon reed. The tip, which is the most delicate part of the reed. The blades. The wire. The tube. And the butt of the reed. Your reed will most likely come in a tube or container similar to this. Gently remove the reed from the container and only handle by the tube or the butt of the reed. Reeds need to be thoroughly wet to be playable. You can put it in your mouth and gently suck on it like a popsicle stick. But many bassoon players prefer a cup of clean water to soak it while they assemble the instrument. The crow is a technique used to see if your reed will create the proper tone on your bassoon. When it's wet, you'll put your mouth farther on the reed than normal and blow at different air speeds. You should get three distinct tones from your crow. Check out the link below for a great model of what you want to hear. You need to let your reed completely air dry when you're finished playing. You can store your reed in the case that it originally came in, but it's not usually the best option for airflow. I recommend investing in a simple case designed for bassoon reeds that allows them to air dry while also protecting them. Investing in handmade reeds by an experienced bassoon player is always the better choice. If you don't have a bassoon player who makes and sells reeds locally, you can purchase handmade reeds off of Etsy or other bassoon reed websites. Machine-made reeds are not always the cheaper option and many times are not balanced well enough to create the tone you're looking for on your bassoon. It's best if you have two to three playable reeds in your case at all times and to rotate through them every time you pull out your instrument to play. This helps the reeds last longer and will save you money in the long run. Bassoon reed sizes are based off of how thick the blades are. Many companies have different ways to categorize the thickness of the blades, but the most common is a scale between soft, medium, and hard. I personally recommend that beginning bassoon players start on medium soft reeds, but it's always a good idea to ask your music teacher what brand and size they recommend that you invest in.